Hello. Hello, and welcome to Serious Act News. Today we want to show you how quickly and easily Serious Act with Profinet can be replaced. Let's go live to Helmut in the production department. Hi, Helmut. Hi, Eva. Right now I'm in the production department. We have provoked a fault message on Sirius Act with Profinet. Now I'm going to show you how this fault can be remedied. The fault can be located in different ways, either using the diagnostic message of the TIA portal, which can also be read out centrally in a control room, or by means of the diagnostic LEDs on the terminal modules or interface modules. Replacement is possible without any software support. This means that these devices can be replaced quickly and easily without any special know-how. That's what I'm going to show you now. When identifying any error, you always start with the interface module. This is indicated by the red flashing diagnostic LED. Then you go along the line and check each individual diagnostic LED on the terminal modules until you come to the terminal module with a flashing red LED. That is where the fault is. There are two ways of remedying the fault. It is either a wiring problem, in which case the wiring has to be replaced, or the fault lies with the terminal module itself, in which case the terminal module has to be replaced. First, you disconnect the power supply. Then you remove the wiring and put the new wiring in. Plug the ribbon cable into the terminal module. Close, then connect to the 24 volt supply. You can check whether the fault has been remedied by going along the line once more. If the LED is green, the fault has been remedied, as in this case here. Danach kann man überprüfen, ob der Fehler behoben wird. Einfach indem dass man den Strang wieder entlang geht und wenn die LED jetzt grün leuchtet, ist der Fehler behoben, wie in diesem Fall. If the interface module needs to be replaced, the plug has to be pulled on the voltage supply. And the Profinet connection and wiring have to be disconnected. The EEPROM of the old interface module has to be removed. The F address we need for the new interface module is stored on the EEPROM. The old interface module is dismantled. The new one is snapped on and wired up in the usual way. By plugging in the ribbon cable, closing, establishing the Profinet connection, and finally, reconnecting the 24 volt supply. The Profinet verbindung anschließen and am Schluss die 24 volt wieder anklemmen. Danach the system then automatically logs onto the controller and is available again. It's as simple as that. And now back to you, Eva. Thank you, Helmut. As you've seen today, it is not only very easy to install the devices and configure the hardware in the TIA portal with Sirius Act with Profinet, it's also possible to replace modules quickly without any software support. We now have come to the end of a further edition of Sirius Act News on the subject of Sirius Act with Profinet. Are you convinced? Then why not try us out? I wish you every success in using our new communication solution. Bye.